welcome. This day of remembrance marks the eighth time we've come together as a family to honor the 134 MoDOT employees who have sacrificed their lives to serve the citizens of Missouri. I chose the word family because I feel that's what we are. A family is a group of people who share a similar background and history. Everyone who joins MoDOT becomes part of its history and its people. We celebrate each other's victories and we grieve together in times of tragedy. Although this year's event looks different due to a global pandemic, we are grateful for the technology that allows us to come together as one to honor those we have lost. I want to thank all of you who are watching now as well as those who will be participating in the ceremony. The monument at our central office in Jefferson City is a tribute to the co-workers we have lost. We can never forget the people whose names are inscribed on it. And when you hear these names spoken during the ceremony, please remember there are families and friends behind them who bear the weight of their absence every day. Over the next few minutes, we'll recognize the safety challenges our employees currently face and the solutions we're pursuing to overcome those challenges. The best way we can honor those whose names you'll hear today is to make sure that no more names are added to this list. They are us and we are family. I thank you for joining. I would like to thank our districts for their participation in this year's event. During this ceremony, employees from each district will read the names of their fallen workers. We are grateful to be joined by Nicole Herbel, daughter of fallen worker, Lyndon Epker, whose death led to the passage of Lyndon's Law. We hope the passage of this law will help reduce the chances of another name being added to this memorial. She'll say a few words later in this program. She is part of our MoDOT family. We will also hear from some of our district employees who have been directly affected by the loss of a coworker, team member, and friend. These are people who work side by side with them, who spoke to them daily. And when news came of the loss, they had to deal with it on a personal level that most of us can only imagine. We thank them for sharing their hearts today. To everyone watching now, and to all the districts who bring their voices to this event, we thank you for your contributions to this year's memorial service. These are the names of the fallen workers from the Southwest District. John Allman, Paul Atchley, Carla Boblitz, Everett Bullock, James Campbell, William Crane II, Preston Ellington, Merle Grayson, Rick Harmon, John Hawkins, Paul Holt, Wesley Jones, Pete Menard, James Minton, Cal Mummy, William Pasley, Charles Rogers, Milo Schooler, Joshua Slatton, Bert Venata, Arthur Walker Jr., Terry Washam, Today, I am so pleased to be able to report that we have not added a name to our memorial since 2017. But the fight for our lives is not over and we cannot let our guard down. This year has brought a dramatic rise in work zone incidents. Already, some of our coworkers have experienced serious injury in the line of duty. Just this season, there has been a 100% increase and TMA hits at a time when traffic in Missouri roads has decreased by nearly 50% for much of the year due to the pandemic. MoDA has already had 39 TMA hits in work zones across the state so far this year. That compares to 35 hits last year the same time. The top five contributing factors for work zone crashes are, number one, distracted, inattentive driving, following too closely, improper lane usage, going too fast for conditions, and failure to yield. The most unfortunate part 
of that list is that every single one of those factors can be avoided. They can be eliminated by drivers simply paying attention, honoring signage and obeying the law. And these are only some of the challenges that our frontline employees face daily. Only a portion of it is in our hands. We are left asking our workers to watch out for inattentive, impaired, or careless drivers. We are forced to ask our workers to put their lives in the hands of others. That does not only apply to our workers. I would ask everyone to prepare for the unexpected, the inattentive, and the impaired. Keep your head up and your eyes open. These are the names of the fallen workers of the Northeast District. E.E. E. Baker, Henry Beckman, James Carmichael, Harold Hesse, Danny Leak, Elmer Wayne, Donna Lindsay, Robert Mayer, William Miller, Sidney Mitchell, George Pfeiffer, Lowell Allman. Bob Mayer was one of the happiest, if not the happiest person I ever knew. He loved and cherished his wife, Maureen. He loved and enjoyed his life on the farm. On April 14th, 2006, it was Good Friday. Bob went to work at MoDOT just like any other day, fully expecting to return home in the evening. Bob referred to the afternoons as evenings. But on that day, we don't know for certain what happened. He took a fall from a truck, probably the truck step. He didn't fall far, but he hit hard. If Bob were here today, I believe he would be encouraging us to stay safe and work safely around equipment, to watch out for others. I believe Bob would be an advocate for driving safely through work zones, putting our phone down, slowing down, buckling up, and watching out for each other so we can return safely at home in the evening. Bob isn't just a name on a memorial, he is my friend. Hey, as we're here celebrating the um, memorial to our fallen workers, um, I wanted to share with you kind of maybe a personal story. I remember the first one of these that I went to and I was basically sitting there listening to the folks read the names. And I always wondered, who are these people? You know, what did they do? And unfortunately now I don't have to wonder because I personally know the names, some of the names of the people on this list. And I think about those probably every week. You know, I remember Bill and Kenny and Jeff and Lyndon. And not only um, do I know them personally, but I know what they did and I've gotten to know their families. I know Joan, I know Kelly, I know um, Nicole. And so, you know, these are real people. The tragedy that affected these families is real. But I think something else important to know is, is that when you talk to the people that or the families of these folks whose lives have been permanently changed. Every one of them was very proud of what their loved one did. They worked for MoDOT, they served the public. And I think that's just one of those things that when you're sitting here hearing these names and you wonder, um, that's the story. Um, one of the things that we all are concerned about is in this time um, that we're in now, out there on the road when we put 3,500 people on the road every day to do the work of the people is, are we getting the respect we deserve from those folks out there on the roadway? And people are making decisions every day that we are really alarmed about. We see speeds going up. We see the number of fatalities rising this year, especially even as much as 12% over last year. Um, we see the distracted driving. So it's incumbent on us to make sure that our folks do everything that we can do to make sure we're doing all the right things to protect our team, but also to tell people, hey, you know, when our folks are out there, you need to slow down. You need to wear your seatbelt. You need to not distra drive distracted. Um, part of the things that we do with things like the buckle up, phone, 
uh, buckle up, phone down campaign are really targeted at not only helping those people stay safe, but making sure that they're watching out for our people and make sure they're safe. So I want you to think about when you hear the names being read, those are people, they have families, and um, all of their families are very proud of what they did for, for MoDOT and so are we. Minton Borough, Garth Camden, Leroy Hall, Floyd Ash, John Mather, Henry Wolgamuth, Joseph Saunders, Clarence Foster, Merrill Chambers, Harry Simmers, Ray Hayer, Devere Limbacher, Daniel Taylor, Gary Dean Kirby, Craig Shields, Calvin Johnson Jr., William Caldwell Jr., Melvin Harrison, Howard Anderson, Marilyn Keller, Julie Love, Michael York, Clifton Scott. Safety is at the cornerstone of everything we do. It's actually the first thing that we mention in our mission statement. It is that important. To reduce traffic incidents and keep our employees and the traveling public safe, we have increased our messaging to citizens across the state, reminding everyone to take their personal responsibility seriously when they're behind the wheel. Always buckle up, put your phone down, slow down, and never drive while impaired and we are expanding that message beyond Missouri borders. Our Buckle Up Phone Down initiative is gaining national attention. Its message is catching on. Other states are actively adopting the safety program as their own. The National Association of Development Organizations, also known as NATO, gave the BUPD Endeavor an Excellence in Regional Transportation Award, which recognizes noteworthy projects and practices that help meet regional needs through various programs, including safety. Also, the Toward Zero Deaths Consortium selected BUPD as a model case study in improving the state's safety culture and saving lives. As a result, other states, including Wisconsin, Nebraska, and Kentucky, are actively promoting the BUPD movement, and many other states have expressed interest in spreading the BUPD safety message. While we may never beat work zone fatalities with a slogan such as BUPD, we will do everything we can to reach the hearts of individuals across the state and across the nation and ask them to take two simple actions that can save lives. Buckle up, put your phone down, save the lives of your friends, family, and our workers, and for that matter, save your own. These are the fallen workers of the Central District. Wilbur Barnes, Christopher Block, Harry Davis, Joseph Embry, Lafayette Essery, James Glenn, Wayne Hall, Gerald Lizot, Thomas Mertz, William Mosley, Brian Keith Perry, Charles Schlib, Frederick Trowbridge. Hi, I'm Nicole Herbel, daughter of fallen MoDOT worker, Lyndon F. Kerr. Thank you, MoDOT, for inviting me to speak and for coming up with a way to honor our fallen workers this year. I just do what needs done. Dad's voice replaying in my head over and over. Words he spoke to me when we were talking about his retirement. I assumed he was going to be spending all of his free time on the farm. Then he hit me with it. I'm going back to work. Why? Why would you do that? You put in all of your time. You missed your Christmases. You taught others how to do the job. Let them do it. 
And he looked at me and said, I just do what needs done, Nick. I had no idea what he meant. But I do now. He knew how to do his job and he did it well. And he loved keeping people safe. At the end of the day, Dad paid the ultimate price on April 7th, 2016. He stood to the entrance of that work zone on Highway 100 as the flagman. I don't know if he seen the car coming. And if he did, I don't know that he knew what was going to happen. But if he did, if it meant getting that car to stop before it swerved into the other lane where it would hit civilian drivers head on, Dad would have stayed. He would have stayed right where he was. To save them. Maybe he'd even whisper, I just do what needs done. These are the names of the fallen workers from the St. Louis district. Robert Eight, Perry Bartz, Otis Caps, William Carr, David Cook, Charles Danatow, Lyndon Epker, Theodore Elman, Adolf Feth, Eugene George, August Glossmeyer, Arthur Gordon, Nicole Graham, Ken Hoyerman, Marvin Lewis, Larry Licklider, Jeffrey McBride, Randy Nail, Robert Reckenton, Roland Resch. Roy Robertson, Houston Shrum, Leonard Simon, John Smith, Gerald Stern, William Weeda. Everett Young. The safety of our employees and customers is our department's greatest value. We have safety procedures in place for the work that we do each day. And we're continually working to improve safety in everything that we do. We have outreach efforts to educate the public on what they can do to help keep themselves and our workforce safe on Missouri roadways. Our behavioral-based safety program allows employees to demonstrate their care for one another through various discussions about safety and at-risk behaviors. In particular, our near-miss and good catch observations help us share best practices and determine focus areas for improvement that help keep us all safe. I urge you to continue to conduct and submit these safety observations. They really are working. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for doing everything you can to work safely on the job and to watch out for each other. We appreciate the work you do each and every day. Keep yourself, your coworkers safe, while they keep you safe.
Yes, we are our brother's keeper. And again, I thank each and every one of you. These are the names of the fallen workers for the Northwest District. Claude Atkinson, Ed L. Doyle, Larry Graves, Kenneth Hasberg, Joe Houston, Joseph Hughes, Clarence Ingalls, Lloyd Land, Randy Munsterman, Roy Murphy, Wendell O'Neill, Ivan Ramsey, Cleo Road, Lawton Roberts, Thomas Snepper, Otis Stretch, William Walker, Donald Wyatt. Now, to us, they aren't just names on a memorial. We saw these people each and every day and we built and, and developed relationships. I personally knew the last three from 04. Julie Love, Clifton Scott, and Mike York. I worked with Julie occasionally on the road and uh, she had such a, a, a beautiful smile. She was always nice, she just wanted to help. Clifton, the same way. Uh, in maintenance, he was a hard worker. In ER, he was a hard worker as well. I uh, was even helping him with uh, his resume. He was interested in promotions at the time of his uh, death on the highway. Mike York, uh, my career at Stadium, we worked together closely. And then once I left and went to another facility in the downtown area, which he was assigned, he would come and visit and we'd discuss plans and everything else. He was a hoot. He was one of the funniest guys you'd ever meet. So again, these aren't just names. These are real people had real relationships with these individuals, so they will never be forgotten. As much as we have this memorial and this plaque here, it's a, a good reminder, a constant reminder each day, how serious the jobs and how dangerous the jobs that we do are, because like these individuals, it could be us. We've, uh, we've had several TMAs hit in recent months, and again, it just highlights the, the need for us to be as cautious as ever and to continually keep these persons in the forefront of our minds as we do our jobs. Now, we haven't lost any since 2012, and we are extremely grateful for that, but one was too many. So, times like this, we reflect so that we can ensure that our coworkers are safe and that we are safe, and to take that opportunity to tell the public, please, slow down, don't be distracted, put your phones down, whatever the case may be, and pay attention, especially in work zones. Our lives are truly Johnny Hayes, Bob Eptink, Dennis Hayes, Gary Farenberg, George Whited, Dennis Evans, Homer Bratton, Herschel Tanner, Curtis Mullins, Ellis Suggs, James Brannick, Irvin Cudworth, Silas Underwood, Archie Goody. Today we gather to remember co-workers and honor their memory. They made the ultimate sacrifice in serving our great state. But I think it's also important today that we recommit ourselves to making sure we never have to add another name to this monument. So today join me in doing just that with our pledge. Safety is one of MoDOT's core values. I will fulfill my moral obligation to the public, my coworkers, and myself to safely carry out our mission. Let's make sure we do that every day. These are the names for the fallen workers for Central Office. Gregory Coleman, Cecile Jefferson, Duane Pace, James Schwartz, Russell Tynes, and James Walther. These are the names of the people who have given their lives in service to the citizens of Missouri. May we never forget their families, their friends, or their co-workers. And may we never add another name to this monument. Please join me in a moment of silence in honor of our fallen heroes. <laughs> 